Um, hey, it is my almost seven month anniversary for my dreads. Um, they're probably looking pretty much a lot better and almost, I mean, you can, I don't, I don't know, they're looking good. How about that? Um, I hate these little loops, but I, I can, I can fix this, but I've been playing with my dreads for a long time. Anyways, um, I just washed them earlier today, so they're kind of really heavy right now. So, uh, yeah, um, I didn't get my six month, uh, update, okay, update on YouTube because, um, I don't know, I wasn't, like, I was super busy with school and shit like that, and, uh, I don't know, I didn't really have time, and my dreads weren't looking too amazing because I, I was wearing a hat for a while just because, I don't know, it was, like, rainy and shit, and I just didn't want to deal with that stuff, but, yeah, um, this is how they are now, here's the back. They've gotten to the point where everyone knows their dreads now, like, definitely. It's obvious, sort of. It's been like that for a little while now. But I don't get the questions, like, are you doing dreads anymore? It's kind of like, oh, you have dreads. Uh, as far as everything goes, with how I'm doing, um, this kid, god damn it, I forgot his name. He's someone, I'll, I'll try to write it in the description. Uh, he taught me how to blunt these, like, what will the YouTube video, like, see how these two are blunted. These are probably the best ones, just because I just redid some of them a little bit today. But he taught, he has a video on how to blunt your tips to where they don't really want to ever come out. Like, I've had some that I blunted two months ago or something, and just rolling them a little bit, like, on the tip keeps them staying there. But what he, I mean, a demonstration of what he told me, or told everybody <laughs> on the, who watched the video, is you take one, I gotta find one that's, like, still, like, really never been blunted because I tried blunting all of them there was that one in the beginning of the video that would have been perfect I don't know where he went maybe this one see how he's like yeah well, what you do is you take oh you gotta use a crochet hook this one's kinda I don't know how big it is or whatever but you just push it straight down through the dread he put it through the whole dread, but I found out you don't really need to do that. I just put it through as much or as little as I can. And then just grab it and then just pull up. But make sure the crochet hook is actually in the dread, which I sometimes don't do. But you gotta just pull the tip up into the dread instead of having like whatever. And see how it's already blunt. But see how like perfect that just came out? Like how easy was that? And then I just roll it over again just to make sure sure it will stay and it kind of gets sometimes wispy at the very end but that's okay with me that'll I don't know I don't if I really try then I'll go away but uh anyways there's other stuff I can talk about um so I was kind of against using wax for the whole entire time until I really looked into it and I only use I never a hat like this okay it's like beeswax. I know it's I know I don't like wax or anything, like I don't like using it. But for some of the times, like in the back of my hair, I have hair that's just ridiculous. I'll put a little bit, like barely any on my hand before I palm roll it. Palm roll it. And it will keep it in there for just a little bit. Like when I'm saying a little bit, I mean like almost none. Just a little bit to just just give it a little more extra like stick. So then by the next time I wash my hair, that will be out because there's barely anything in there. And then, um, my hair would be so used to being in that spot, because it's been like that for a whole week, it's not going to get out as easy as it would when I wash my hair the next time. So, yeah. Oh, this is that hair that I wanted to do that, to the blunted tip thing, too, because it was being annoying. Yeah. Here, I'll quick try that one, too. So, you just go straight down, through... As, well, as straight as you can make it, which is terrible for me, but just pull it. It does shrink your dreads, depending on how, like, crazy you go. I kind of half-ass it, so my dreads don't shrink, but it could make your dreads shrink, shrink like an inch to two inches, 
mine shrinks kind of okay this one came out bad <laughs> but if you just roll it it'll fix itself kind of but um yeah see it's kind of good there's a little bit of nonsense but I don't really care too much but anyways it shrinks your hair like an inch or two depending on how you do it and then this thread's been annoying me just because it got blunted and then see how there's just like that hole what the hell yeah see how it's like there's a loop in the bottom somehow and I just keep really pushing down on it so it closes that up and sometimes does it as far as beads go I'm rocking <laughs> I'm rocking uh, one in the back this one to mark that it's my natural dread that I don't do any maintenance to or anything which seems to not even look too much different from my other dreads and then I have one that has been connecting two and in the way it's actually connected three dreads now I just roll them together but they're really not that like see but just three of them have been so connected because it was right above my ear and for the longest time I just have missed that in my routine I'm really bored of just like rubbing every part of my head I go in like front section, then this, and then this, and then back, and I just somehow missed this dread. So yeah, I just actually put the bead in there today, but I've been letting them naturally like grow together. I've been trying to want to do free forming them, like no maintenance, but I mean, I am very white, and I do try to like keep my dreads so they look very like dread like so I just don't get too much uh, shit over it like I just try to keep them so like you know I can go to some events without getting like terrible like things said about my hair like I it's because I'm in school and I'm like trying to do like competition stuff in school like video stuff because I have I'm in that thing I gotta go to a places where I have to be formal and stuff sometimes and then like I have prom in like a month so I'm really trying to just keep my hair as nice as I can, which is funny to say with dreads, but as as clean as my dreads can be without the whole, like, annoying salon style, which I hate. But I'm just trying to keep them, you know, like, these are like a mixture. They're not like, like, Marley dreads where they're, like, just clumps of hair, completely natural, but they're also not, like, salon, got them all perfect. They're all, like, half inch in diameter. There's 120 like no, there's like 37 maybe or something like that. I've never I've counted once, and there was 41, and a lot of them have connected since then, or a couple of them, especially my friend here. He ate one. I always mention that, but yeah. This one's one of my favorites. I don't have a favorite dread, because I like them all. I have some least favorites, <laughs> like some of the ones in the back just never want to stay together, like so ridiculous and then there's one like on the top this guy gives me such problems he used to look like a bendy straw because he would turn exactly at a 90 degree angle <laughs> but yeah this video is about nine minutes long now if you watch the whole thing that's pretty good especially me talking about like nonsense not really helpful anything but yeah that's a look at my uh seven month old dreadlocks which I am so surprised to actually ever be at this point. My parents said I couldn't have dreads until the day I had them. <laughs> and just, I don't know, everyone's, everyone was cracking down on me at the first, in the beginning of it. They're like, no, you can't do dreads, you're white, you're white, you're white. And I'm like, come on, dude. But, okay, no one has helped me except for, like, one guy on YouTube messaged me or commented or something like that. That's the, and then a couple people, some of my hippie friends, they're like, yeah, it's a crazy idea. Of course, they have no idea how to do it, but still, those are the only people. Um, somehow, for some reason, my girlfriend actually likes them, or doesn't like them, but puts up with them. So I guess that's good, but my parents don't really like them. My dad's like, when are you going to cut them? I'm like, what the hell? They just got good. So yeah, I've got to go. See ya. I didn't hit the button. <laughs>